Hey guys, it's Juan from Blue Melon again, and this one, it's an easy one. All it is, it's an accordion menu. So you click and, you know, text comes out, and when you click again, it just disappears, but they move around. So let's see how we can do those ones. Okay, cool, so here I am in action. I'm just gonna give you a quick breakdown of what I've got. I've got a background image, easy peasy. I've got some text that nothing's gonna happen to it. And we've got the section that we're interested in, which is these two little elements. The first one is item one. It's got a particular feel. And I just wanna point out that I've got a base style, which is just how it looks. And the same for the text. So the text is wide and this is, rounded corners and green background and all that stuff. Now, how do I make this work? To make it work, all I need to do is I'm gonna select the text. I'm gonna control click and first make it invisible or set to hidden. So that means we can't really see it when we first look at the page. I need to give it a name. So I'm just gonna go and say message one. And that's pretty much it really. Then with that, in mind, I can go to my item line button and now I can actually trigger this button to do something with that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new case, which that one's created there, but let's imagine I didn't have that. So I can double click on click and I'm gonna go show and hide message one. This message one is the name that we just gave to that particular box. So it's pretty easy to go and say, look, you know, I do want it to show that but most importantly, I want you to toggle that. And that's because we want to toggle between um, how we want to see the message. We want to show it and hide it. Then all I'm going to do is just fade it, keep it three milliseconds, and I want to push my widgets. What that means is whatever goes underneath is just going to be moving around, and that's pretty good. Keep it below, just to keep it simple for now, and I'm going to swing. Keep it in 300 milliseconds, you can play with the time, no problem. If I was gonna test these, you can go Command Shift P, click item one, and that seems to be working. But nothing's getting pushed up or down. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom it back out a little bit and select these two elements. I'm gonna option click drag down and press my item two here. Yeah, I've copied some text and I've copied a button. I'm gonna call these ones item two. And this text should have, or this text frame should have a different shape name. Otherwise item one, when you click on it, is gonna active both of them and you, you really don't want that. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna to go to item two and I create a different style. And that's just so you guys could see something different, so go and change the style. And you notice something really cool about Aksha is that when you copy that, if you look at the case, it copied the case, but it also copied the fact that it recognizes that you want to toggle message two. I didn't do that because when I created my toggle, it was on message one. Let's see how that works. Now we've got both of them working. I press item one and there you go. It goes and pushes, and pushes the second one. And if I click item two, it brings the other message. Same when I click again. Just quickly, I'm gonna do the other one, just, you know, in case you miss something. So I'm gonna click those two. Remember, option click and drag, no problem. I'm gonna put it somewhere there, that's fine. I've also created another style for item three. So I'm just gonna go in my base style, button three. It's a bit yellow. And this guy, I'm gonna call it message three. If you look again on item three, it actually updated for you. You don't have to do the update. That's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go and refresh that. Item two, boom. Item three comes out, item one. Everything is moving together. And I think that's pretty awesome when you're doing really quick prototypes on something that you really need to demonstrate to your client how it would work. I think we've all been there. How long would it take to explain this? So I hope you enjoy this one. It's really easy and well, hope you like it. See ya.